Ah, oh, my friends, it is cold indeed. A great storm has set in, and I stand here, guarding the border gate to Cyrodiil. Perhaps, perhaps this storm gives me great opportunity to abscond, to go AWOL from this encampment. I think it's... I think it's time I said farewell to the Legion. I'm done with this lot. Besides, I saw black smoke rising on the horizons towards my hometown of Helgen. And these men here will not give me leave to go check, even though I'm but a stone's throw away. So I think, my friends, I think it's time I deserted the Imperial Legion. But before we do that, my friends, I welcome you to the first episode of what is possibly going to be a new series. And that is uh, Living a Normal Life in Skyrim. With the first episode of all these new series, of course, I want to hear your feedback in the comments below. So let me know if you want to see more of this character when you're done watching this episode. Uh, and I will indeed make more. This is going to be kind of like Life as a Peasant if you were on the channel back in the day when I released that years and years ago. Um, where I'm essentially going to be living a normal life, obviously, once I've uh, absconded here, once I've deserted from the Imperial Legion. I'm going to start my normal life. Uh, as you know, I I'm done with this Legion. Look, I'm it's cold. It's freezing. I'm just done here, man. I don't even believe in this. You know, I don't even believe in the Empire anymore. Look, everyone's miserable here. I don't... I don't look, look if, if you notice, there's, there's a lot more men. There are tents. This, this doesn't add up, does it? Quite. It's misery here. It's misery. And this is the border gate to Cyrodiil. You know, these aren't even my lands. Skyrim's my home. This is Henneth, a Nord. He's also the scout. Or a scout for the Imperial Legion, and he's the scout for this encampment here. Look, they're eyeing me up. They know what's up. Oh yeah, they 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 know. They know. They know. I'm about to abscond here. Let's close the uh, the gate to the Pale Pass. So the Pale Pass that leads to Cyrodiil. We we'll come down this way actually. It leads. Uh, oh, I'm getting to warm up. That's nice. It leads to the barren wasteland of the Pale Pass, and to Cyrodiil. But no, we must turn our way to Skyrim, and to a normal life. I will use the cover of this storm, my friends, to. To escape. I'm sorry, but I no longer believe in the in the Legion. I will. I will just say that I'm uh, going out to, to hunt some game to bring back to the camp, my friends. Obviously, we are, we are low on food here. We are surviving on scraps and mere rations and maggoty bread for three stinking days. I think it's time. we got some meat in our bones. So, uh, give me leave to, to hunt some game and I'll be back, my friends. <laughs> A couple meters and I'll be lost in the storm and they'll never be able to find me. My footprints will be covered in a, in a matter of moments due to the storm. So, uh, yeah, we're going to take this time to, to complete desert. I'm going to have to ditch my Imperial armor, though, as uh, I don't want anyone knowing that I served the Legion once I arrive to Helgen. Uh, right, let's, let's get our bearings here. Luckily, I made off with a map. And Helgen lies just ahead. Okay, very good. Let's go around this way. Let's follow the roads. I want to get to Helgen before it gets uh, too cold, as I'm not wearing any furs right now, just the Imperial rags. There we are, we've got some snowberries right off the bat. Oh yeah, you know it already. You know it's going to be foraging hours. We already know, my friends. Perhaps uh, perhaps I can make some teas and such. I won't be doing any grand alchemy stuff as a normal citizen, obviously. Um, but perhaps I can make some teas and, and such. Should I, should I cross uh, the wilderness here? Should I go over this way? Yeah, let, let's get lost in the wilderness a bit. Just in case these guys do decide to give chase when I do not return. <laughs> right then. Are we approaching Helgen? I can't quite see that. <laughs> Although this uh, storm has given us great cover to escape, uh, it's, it's not good for my bearings at all. Where am I? There's, some, there's a fortress over there. That's not Helgen, is it? Plenty of snowberries, though. Oh, I think I think Helgen is just, is just past this mountain here. Is this home? Is this home? Yes, there's Helgen! It's time I returned down the mountainside. Right, very nice. We'll be sipping juniper berry mead in no time, my friends. Although I think I'd like a hearty pot of stew first. That's for sure. Uh, I guess we'll go down this way. Yeah, there's the black smoke rising! Helgen, no! My home! The air, the air warms though. Oh, my, oh no! Hel By the gods, dragon takes flight from the ruins of Helgen, my home. No! And the rain begins to fall. What misery! What misery! What happened here? By the gods! 
They would not give me leave to check. I saw the smoke rising in the horizons. No. <laughs> Helgen. Right, let's go investigate what's going on here. And then I think I must make my way to Riverwood. Uh, this is not uninhabitable anymore. I must be out of here. By the gods. By the gods. Indeed. Okay, there's a body here. A charred body. Burned corpse. The body turns to ash as you touch it, but somehow a leather journal survived the attack. Right, read the journal. Right, let's, uh... Let's get some shelter first, shall we? Yeah, the storms are... Okay, yeah, the storms are pounding pounding in. Let's, um... Let's make... Oh, my word. Who is that? Oh, I found another traveller. Hello there, friend. I mean no harm. These are these are mercenaries. Okay. They've also just discovered Helgen at the same time as me. I guess they also saw the black smoke rising. By the gods. Right, I'm going to have to ditch this armour, I think. Right, Riverwood lies this way. There is a vision on the road as well. By the, by the gods! Right, the storm, we need to get to shelter. How, mu how, mu how much coin have I got on me? My wages. I've only got 78 coin. That's not enough. <laughs> Won't be able to afford a room tonight. Not with realistic room rentals installed anyway. <laughs> By the gods, the rain! It batters me! Right, is there anywhere I can store this armor? As I might want to return to it one day. Who knows? We'll go to the standing stones first, and then we'll, uh... Oh, there's a hunter there. Maybe, maybe I could trade with a hunter. Hello, would you like to buy my armor? You got for sale, good sir. Henneth, I cannot sell my armor. Right, for now, I am going to have to get rid of it. Luckily, I am wearing clothes beneath this armor. So let's equip that, shall we? Just some common boots and some clothes. Yes, and some gloves as well. Actually, let's put these plain brown boots on, shall we? There we are. Let's remove my hood as well. I think that'll be for the best. There we are. Oh, yes, and now you may notice, Henneth is, in, is indeed missing an eye. Another reason. Oh, what was that? Another reason he wishes to uh, leave. Oh no, don't kill the fox, friend, please. I know you're a hunter. Another reason Henneth wanted to leave the Imperials is that he was wounded in battle and still they did not give him, you know, adequate quick care. Oh, I feel chilly. My exposure's up. There's some friends here on the road. Actually, yes, there's a merchant here. Right, here's our first bit of coin to begin our life as a normal, as a normal peasant. We'll, we'll sell our armor. This will, um, you know, pay our way a little bit. There we are. some actual coin to our name now. My amulet of Zenithar, I want to keep that. What else can I sell? My Imperial Sword. Oh, I've got an Iron Great. Where'd I get that from? I don't want that. I'll keep my Imperial Blade, though, and my, and my bow as well. The only signs. Why well, have I got scrolls as well? I'm just, like, starting with this stuff. Let's get rid of those. I'm not going to be a magic wielder today. Right. Thank you. Since uh, I didn't collect my last wages from the Imperial Legion... <laughs> I may as well sell the armor they gave me. Uh, Stop my life. I'm going to need to buy some tools and some shelter in any anyway once I get into Riverwood. By the gods. And luckily, we took our armor off just in time as we've now reached a guard tower. Very good. Standing stones. Hello there. Let's, uh, let's grab this guy. Why not? Yeah. Sure, that will help us hunt anyway. We're not going to be doing... It's not going to be a combat-focused uh, character, of course. We're living a normal life. But I will not avoid combat should uh, ne'er-do-wells attack me. But I will not seek it out like Ember Shard Minor put up there. <laughs> I'll not be seeking out the ne'er-do-wells there. But the wolves up ahead. I'm going to equip my bow ready for them. Oh, there's a warg as well. Oh, the gods. Oh, an alpha wolf. Okay, your meat will feed me well. I'll sell your skins. Perhaps I can be a hunter. Well, I'll do anything as this character, I think. Any odd job will do. The last thing I want, though, is to be bitten by these wolves. I don't want to catch rock joint. Come on, then. Oh, no, I missed! Oh, no. What about you, Alpha? Huh? Ugh. So much for being the Alpha. Right, allow me first to collect my arrows back, please. I'll take all that. And I will field dress you presently once I collect all my arrows. Actually, do you know what? I'm going to die out here. The exposure. Right, I've collected pelts by manual looting. I'll come back to skin them later if they've not rotted by then. But I really want to get into Riverwood and start my life as, an, as a normal folk. No, a normal foeman, if you will. Oh, look. There's a nun right there. And a rabbit. Oh, the gods. 
Oh. Please, I'm drenched. I'm drenched. And here we are, Riverwood. This is where we'll begin our new life. And who are you, good sir? Are you looking for me? Surely not. He gave me. He gave me nothing. Dragon. Yes, I saw it too. I too saw the dragon. If you keep on like this, everyone in town will be your All but me, all but me. I will not. I saw it too. My home burnt to ash. Right, I need to get inside the inn for now. I need to get out of this this godforsaken uh, storm. Once the day clears up, we'll come out and start working. Let's get inside. Let's read this journal. Go. Let me know if you want anything. Oh, yes. I got a clean mug around here somewhere. Perhaps I will uh, have a, have an ale, but for now, the only thing I require from you, sir, is a place to sit and a yeah. warm fire. And here we are, my friends. We've arrived in Riverwood to start our new life, having deserted from the Imperial Legion. And here we are. That's it. Rub your hands, friend. Henneth, my friend, rub your hands. Warm your soul, your spirit. Your new life begins, my friend. I think we should start by reading that journal we got from Helgen and figure out what the freak happened there. By the gods, what happened? Is it the Adventurer's Journal? It is indeed. Investigate the cave mentioned in the journal or warn the residents of Riverwood. Yes, we shall warn the residents indeed. Just tells of the dragon coming down and mid-execution. Ulfric Stormcloak was to be beheaded. By the gods, the Imperials had Ulfric Stormcloak. My word. Maybe this, maybe this commotion will be, would also aid me in my escape from the Legion. As what just happened at Helgen, they will not be looking for one me measly Imperial scout. Not when Ulfric Stormcloak has escaped. Brilliant. This works for us yet again. Although it'd be nice if my home wasn't completely burnt down. <laughs> right, I have no coin to spend here. Right, I need to get outside. Like, there's a free woodcutter's axe by the mill. Let's go grab that and start woodcutting, shall we? Oh, okay, the storm has passed on. That's that's helpful. <laughs> that's very nice indeed. Okay, nice. I don't have to work through the rain, the bitter rain. There's a pilgrim here as well. Hello there, sir. What of you? What of you, merchant? Yes. Uh, perhaps I can trade with you later, but for now, it's honest work for me, so I can scrape up enough coin to buy myself some gear. I want to get myself a backpack, a tent, um, and some cooking supplies, a water skin, that kind of stuff. Because uh, I have no home right now. I, I am homeless. Uh, I'm kind of a drifter, if anything. Uh, and so I might lay a tent down by the edge of town and fish and woodcut and stuff. And that would be the start of my normal life, I guess. Uh, as, yeah, we don't have a home here in Riverwood, nor could we afford one. <laughs> we've got a measly, we've got a measly amount of skept, uh, septums to scrape together. So, yeah, honest work for us by the looks of it, my friends. So let's go grab ourselves a woodcutter's axe. Uh, luckily, there is a mill here and they're always in need. Of honest labor New and uh, honest work. Yes, I if am. If you're looking for work, go see Hod at the Thank mill. you. Yes, is, that is exactly what I'm looking for. I'm looking for work indeed. Brilliant. Goodbye, Bo, for now. I'll only use you when I go hunting. And hello, Woodcutter's Axe. There we are. Look at that. Yes. The lumberjack life begins today, my friends. Very nice. Right then. Hod, you're looking for work, my friend. Hello there. I too got business here in Riverwood, eh? Um, there are worse villages. Okay, so I think I just need to cut some wood and it'll be done. All right. Then. Right there we are. Uh, hopefully he gives us a fair price of the wood. But you know, I'm sure, I'm sure there are plenty of foemans out here willing to uh, to chop wood. So we probably won't get a fair price. But oh well. Yes. Oh, there's a fisherman here as well. Ooh, okay. What now? We Fight could sell well. fish to him, and there, I believe there is a fishing hole down that way. Get ourselves a free rod. Right, let's begin cutting some wood first, shall we? Maybe we'll end uh, end the ep with some some nice uh, some nice fishing, my friends. Yes. Ah, oh, yes. This is a simple life. This is what we want. We're getting two firewood a chop. Very nice. I could change those values. I have got a um a mod that allows me to change wood cutting values, but I want to keep this kind of you know realistic. I don't want to get rich quick, so I think this is this is fair. Keeps it naturally. Uh, Keeps wood cutting uh, naturally low, I guess, as it is a, a very basic job. It's menial work, but there's nothing like it. Yes, it's honest. Got my blade, my imperial sword by my side as well. Should any ne'er-do-wells attack this settlement? 
let's uh, let's sell this after this last chop. I want to see how much we actually get per wood. Because uh, this this might not be good work for us. But as long as we can afford the supplies we need, then we can live off the land and feed ourselves. So we should be good. Very nice. Very nice. Right then. How much wood do we cut there then? We cut a humble 12 firewood. And we're going to get a very humble pay for this, I think. Here for work? Hello, friend. Honest gold for honest work. And we get a piece per wood. Okay, so it's literally... All right. Uh, they made it easy for us, at least. So we're getting one septum per, per piece of wood. So I say let's continue cutting wood. We've got a lot more, a lot more to cut. Why does it keep equipping my sword on me? I have no idea. There we are. Let's continue. I don't know how long I should stay here cutting wood for. We'll see what time it is after this uh, this chop, but I could just sit here and cut like a hundred wood. <laughs> and uh, just get a hundred septums going. Oh, oh Fendel. Hello there, friend. Oh, good old Fendel. If you remember life as a peasant, you remember Fendel well as well. Yes. Oh, what time is it? It is... Oh, actually, it is getting late. It is getting on, actually. So let's uh, turn this in and figure out uh, where we're going to sleep God tonight. Honest gold or honest Are we going to pay all our wages just to, just for one bed in the inn tonight? Or can we can we cheekily sleep somewhere outside? I wonder if there is somewhere we can lay our head, our weary head down. Hmm, we shall see. Oh, it is a glorious evening, isn't it? Look at that. Not bad for our first day. Right, come morning, we'll uh, drop into the river with Trader and see what supplies we can buy. Actually, it is open right now. We could we could peek in right now. Well, one of us has to do something. Oh. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, here. no thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Indeed, I'm a customer. Oh. This has nothing to do with me. A customer. Yes, indeed. Sorry you had to hear that. No worries. Uh, I just want to see if you've got some supplies, well, good friend. Overheard. Take a look. Right. Have you got? He has got a tent. But by the gods, that costs so much. But that will that allow us to sleep somewhere basically for free permanently. He has got a backpack as well. Honestly, we should see if we can craft this stuff by hand. I think. Perhaps I should go back and. Uh, Indeed, uh, skin those those wolves. Has he at least got a water skin? That would make my life easier. He has not. I guess that's something else I need to make. Water skins are very hard to make, actually. You need, like, rolls of paper. You need uh, a bunch of stuff, like a lockpick, everything. He has got a travel cloak as well. Right, all this stuff we're going to make ourselves. For now, we'll get water from the inn. That is fine. This guy, the river trader, never has the stuff I want anyway. When I make a new character. I better get back to cleaning the store. So, what a mess! Indeed, I'm gonna go to the inn now. I think. Actually, I'll double check what supplies I need to make a, a tent. Oh yes, this is such a fine village, a hamlet. I feel, I feel safe here. I feel good. I don't know if this is where I'll live for. Look at this. Yes, after after the escape of this in the storm, this is such a pleasant sight. Right, what do we need here to make a tent? Can I, can I, do I even have the skills to do it? Let's make a small leather. Every day we okay. Get and Twelve leather and eight leather strips. I say we go skin those uh, those wolves. I think we do that, my friends, because that will provide us plenty of leather. Right, I don't think it's been too long. Hopefully no beast has gotten to the uh, the wolf bodies and I can I can claim those pelts. As, uh, I'm going to need a lot of leather. Always with these kind of characters that live off the land and uh, kind of, you know, RP-focused characters and immersion-based builds. Uh, the start is always a, a big grind for the leather, I've noticed. So, but once, we, once we get, you know, a few pelts to our name, we're, we're kind of good on the leather front. Maybe I'll sell these flowers. Oh, yes, the corpse is still there. I'm going to do a lot of foraging as well. I'm going to do every odd job as this character. I'm not going to stick to one profession. I'm kind of going to drift and, and do, do what needs to be done. There might even be jobs in the inn for us, so... Look at all these, yes. And even sell these to apothecary shops and, and whatnot. And all oh, the mushrooms as well. There's already some fish I see jumping there. We could actually catch some with our hand. We don't even need a rod. But first, 
let us field dress these guys. Let me skin your pelt. I wonder if we can um, sell the ingredients at the inn or if it, maybe the general store. I mean, an apothecary would probably buy them, but there isn't one in town, so... I'll grab the meat as well. That'll, that'll, that'll sell for something. We only get a measly one piece. I've got to dispose of the body there. Right, we've got three more carcasses to uh, to loot here. Can I pick up this arrow, please? Oh, no, I can't. What a shame. Arrow is going to be of great value to us, for sure. Let's field dress this guy, this geezer. Skinning away. Taking all the pelts I need. I will take your meat. Let's, uh, let's get pelt first, shall we? These are all going to be poor quality, probably. Oh, no. Oh, no, yeah, ruined one, yeah. Uh, we need to get ourselves a, a hunting knife, and then we can start um, upping our, our skinning game. What are we going to get ingredients-wise? Oh, I'm learning from experience. Harvesting bones and organs from animals. Eye of wolf, canine tooth, wolf claws. Large, oh, a large animal bone. I can make a hunter's cache. Well, let's make a hunter's cache, my friends. We'll, uh, we'll lay that down outside of town and, and put any treasures we find in there. Because one day, my friends, I'm going to buy myself some land and retire. It's going to be hard living for us for now, but the, the end goal for this series will be to uh, to buy our own land, I think. Yes. Come on, give me give me a good quality pelt for once. Come, oh, yes, I'm improving. Nope, still poor. So when they're poor and ruined, they don't give us great returns on leather, sadly. But uh, I guess this is a numbers game here, so we just keep killing more. <laughs> it doesn't matter in the end. Inefficient hunting, where we kill more than we need. Another large animal bone. Brilliant. How much meat are we going to get from this guy? Go on, give me some meat. We've got all five. Yes, brilliant. Dispose of you, good sir. And what of the alpha? The alpha must give us uh, much meat, surely. I would think so, anyway. Another poor pelt to our name. That's okay. And let us get your meat. I wonder how much meat this guy's going to give us. Uh, oh, five again. Okay, the alpha didn't really give us any more than the uh, the underlings. Than the rest of the pack. So let's dispose of that. And also, I do really want to start fishing. There is a free fishing rod up, up that way, but I might go collect that come morning, I think. <gasps> yes! Talking about leather, my friends. Talking about leather. Do not flee, friend. I'm sorry, but I, ha I need you. Your meats, your skin will feed me, clothe me. I'm sorry. I'm going to wait for his head to pop up again. Come on. We'll probably have to give chase once we fire this arrow. Oh no, maybe not. Maybe not indeed. Yes. A well-placed shot. Uh, well, not really, but <laughs> according to the game, it was a well-placed shot. Right, we're going to have to get a bit wet here. Uh, let's try and jump these stones, shall we? I don't want to get cold right now. There we are. Brilliant. And oh, who's that there? Who is that? That does not look like a friendly. Let's hide down here. That person does not look like a friendly soul. Oh, don't, do not come down here, please. Oh no, he's coming right to the water. Luckily, I'm an Imperial Scout. I've been trained. Oh no, I've been trained. I've been trained. He has found me. And he is, he's a friend. He is a friend. Okay. That was, oh, he's a mercenary warrior. I thought he was maybe a bandit. Okay. That was, that was all for nothing. <laughs> but for, there's for sure bandits up here, I believe. And we shall indeed ignore that. Where's my elk? Where's my where's my game? Where did, it, where did it fall? Where did the beast fall? Oh, there it is. Okay. In, in the brushes here. Oh, for a second there, I thought I'd lost it. That would have been a waste indeed. Got a deer hide. Very cool. Very cool. And let's do uh, let's do some field dressing. Very nice. Very nice. A good day of hunting or a good night of hunting. I learned from my experiences, but it's still a poor pelt. I do need to get that knife sorted. I could probably make a bone knife actually. Now that I've got a bunch of um, animal bones from these wolves and, and stuff, so I might just craft myself a knife. Being cash poor makes you. Uh, Make sure you need to craft your own stuff. Animal fat and venison. Very good. Right. We should also have enough uh, meat as well to make ourselves some uh, some charred meat, which is my favourite trail ration as it's a medium meal and you can all you need is meat to cook it. Uh, and that keeps me alive on the road. 
keeps well. So it's essentially jerky. I treat it as jerky. Good trail rations, good honest food. Uh, although, I would get very bored of eating just charred meats uh, constantly. I imagine it not being very flavorful. Beggars cannot be choosers in this day and age. No. Okay, that was, that's just, this has been a very successful first day, I think. Um, we did actually see there was a there was a poacher, I think, over this. I think he's a poacher, or is he, does he sell in skins? He's a pelt buyer. Yes. I could sell my pelts to him for coin, but I want to turn my pelts into leather. There might be a poacher around. There's a fisherman, so if we can find a poacher, we could sell that meat uh, straight up. Oh, lease rest. My word, this is a grand house indeed. Oh, to 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 live in such a place would be would be amazing. The poachers do normally uh, exist on the outskirts of towns, as they're they're not well liked. As I mean, their trade is illegal by nature. So yeah, let's uh, let's see if we can find one. They may become morning. They might even even be in the inn. Because those pelts, I do indeed want to. Uh, to turn into leather for my own usage. All right, let's uh, let's jump inside the inn for now, shall we? The Imperials. Oh my word! Imperials. Oh. Need something? I'm good, traveller. I'm good. Embry's here. Oh, there's a chef. It's a cook. Yes. Pack. Oh, I can buy salt from him. Perhaps I can become a cook. Alva is here, the blacksmith is here. Delphine. I'm not poking around. I'm existing. There's no laws that keep you from here. Right, let's first uh, make some charred meat, shall we? Make it quick. Yeah, charred meat, raw venison. Raw venison steak. Let's make some charred meat because that is a medium meal. Let's do it. Let's make a couple of those. Yeah, that should be enough for now. Right, let's see if we can sell the rest of our stuff to good old uh, this guy, Orgna. Oh, my friend, what do you got for food. sale? Drink. Take a look. Right, I'm going to sell to you, good sir. I'm going to sell to you. Yeah, I will sell my large antlers. Uh, and the small antlers as well. Eye of wolf. I'm going to sell all this stuff. I, I, I really don't need it. Uh, I can't turn the animal bone. That's fine, because I want to use this anyway. All right, then. So let's uh, let's do some scrimshoring, shall we? Actually, you know, we'll do that come morning. For now, I'll spend some corn on a room. Talk to Delphine. Okay, Delphine. Until next time. I'd like a room, please. I need it. Fifty sure coin. It's yours for a By day. the gods, but I need someone to rest my weary head. That's for sure. Right. Is I'm it, just the. This cook, is my room lad. here. That is my room. Right. Let's sleep. Let's sleep for a nice nine hours, shall we? We've been working hard. I awaken feeling well rested. It's about ten to eight in the a.m. So a nice early start for us. Well, there's probably people out there even earlier than us, but I guess it's an early start. Uh, okay, let us jump back outside, shall we? You're that visitor. Oh, who's this? Hello around. there. Wandering magician, mm -hmm. by the gods. This is a local favorite and uh, actually, I think there's work we can do here as well, isn't there? Um, we got rooms and food. Looking for Drink work. Got any leads? I cook. Ain't much else to tell. Can I get a copy of the jobs? Oh, the jobs of Skyrim book. Take one. Jobs of Skyrim added. Until okay, this will tell us what we can do for work around here. Jobs of Skyrim. Riverwood. Poaching jobs. There is a poacher in Riverwood, so there is apparently a poacher in Riverwood. Okay, there's schooner dealers and everything here. Pelt buyer. Come on, I want, I want honest work here. Bounty hunting, merchant jobs. Courier jobs. Delivery. Assassination necromancer. Bartender. Oh, there's bartending jobs. Ogner, have you got work for a bartender right now? Need a room? Talk to Delphine. Looking for work? Here, take a look at this. Oh no, I don't Some want of the Jarl's no, thank you. came by and left this bounty letter. I want no bounties. I'm the innkeeper. Until it's next time. Do I ask the cook? Do I ask the cook for work? Yes. Oh there, I'm a cook and I'm looking for work. Go on then, what have we got? Could be ten chicken stews. Okay, cook ten chicken stews. I can do that. Let's do it. We don't get a lot of How much, much coin are we going to get for this? For this work as a cook? Eight, 
nine and ten stews cooked. Let us return it to our cook friend here. That was easy. Uh, those those chicken stews there. Here's your money. What are we getting for that? Come on. Twenty twenty. Okay. I mean, it's quicker, I guess, than wood cutting. Well, let's let's jump back outside. Out of my way, stranger. Oh, easy, friend. Easy. You've been drinking at the inn all night, but it's a very pleasant, crisp morning today. Look at this. Smoke from the forge, mm -hmm. billowing, very nice. It's good stuff. This is what I want. This is the life I want. Right, let us uh, make some leather, shall we? And then after that, I'm going to go get a fishing rod and then start fishing. Very nice. Right, leather. Let's just go full on leather mode. Wolf pelts. Okay, so not as much leather as I had, would have hoped. And um, yeah, you can't make leather out of poor pelts, but you can. Uh, you can make uh, strips. So we'll get our strip, our strip, uh, our strips from the poor pelts, the ruined pelts. That's not to waste. So yeah, wolf pelt poor. Let's do that. I do not want to turn my leather into strips. Deer pelt poor gives us two strips. Another wolf pelt for another strip. Yeah, we've got leather, so we've got uh, some leather and some leather. Not enough nice. yet. I believe not. I think we need like 12 for the, uh, the tent, don't we? Small leather tent. Yeah, we need 12. Uh, we've got, the, we got... I mean, we need two more strips. Okay, cool. Okay, so we might actually be hunting a few more beasts uh, once we head out and find the, uh, the fishing rod. Who knows? I mean, well, wolves, welcome to attack me. You're welcome to attack me. What a, what a pleasant, what a pleasant morning. I wish all days could be like this. It would make life a lot easier. Not being cold, not being tired. I must remember to avoid Ember Shard Mine. As it has been taken over by bandits. I will defend myself if attacked by bandits. But this is not an adventurer character. I will not seek out conflict. I will not seek out combat. Uh, we actually, I'm actually, I, I have more coin than I thought I would by now. We've already got uh, five Hunsky, so I might actually straight up buy some ingredients. Uh, sorry, buy some gear. Uh, use my coin. I do also want to save up for some land, though, of course. Uh, so I will be saving a lot of money as well. I hope not to give any more coin to the inn, as a, I'll have a tent soon. My own house. Right, down here, I believe, is a fishing rod. Oh, who's this kind, sir? Is this a fisherman? Hello, I've not seen you here before, friend. Good morning. Oh, who are you? Who are you, good sir? I've never seen you before. Give me, give me one second here. Here's the fishing rod. Uh, line and lure. Let's take that. Uh, I will not go deep into fishing, but I will, I will of course fish. There's a, there's I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. Oh, very good. It means this place is richer, rich with game and fish. Right. Here's a a fishing map as well free to take. Oh, okay. It tells us some good fishing spots. Thank you, fisherman. Thank you very much. Oh, I cooked a brook bass as well. I'll take that. It's not like my poaching is hurting anyone. The Jarl can hardly eat every deer now, can he? Hey, listen. I'm, I'm with you there. I'm with you there. I, I, I don't think the Jarl should be able to claim the forests and those that live inside it for his own. We only wish to feed ourselves. That is all. Right. And who are you, friend? My good sir. Brist. Yeah? Good what sir. do you need? Oh, he's a, he's the boatman. He's a boatman. All right. Okay. That's cool. Uh, I could use fishing supplies, but I might actually do the fishing back in Riverwood. I think that fishing spot there. Let's see. Let's see what little dudes we we catch. What's this? Oh. My word. Okay, that's free for the taking. I'll take it. Oh wow. Oh, that's a. Oh, that's the alchemy stuff. Ooh. No alchemy for me. I'll save that for, my, for I'll save that for Gaius. <laughs> Gaius has got that front covered, I'm sure. I think this is a perfectly pleasant day then to do a spot of fish. Look, it just even gets better and better as the day goes on. The water should be cool enough actually for me to have a little dip in, so I might see if I can catch a few fish here on the on the bank uh, with my hands, my with my bare hands. Right, let's, let's jump across here. Don't get sucked away. Don't get sucked. No, I was freaking sucked away. No. Oh man, what was it catch the fish? Actually, I can just climb back up here. Oh, here they are. This is a great spot. Grabbing salmon, grabbing salmon. 
Oh, there he is. They're still jumping. Come on. Oh, all right. Let's, let's go a bit higher. I'm like a bear. I was just grabbing salmon with my own two hands. Oh, here they are. Boom. Grab another one. Any more? There's another one there. Uh, jump. Oh, no, I missed it. Okay, that's fine. I think we got enough anyway. Oh, there's another salmon there. The water's cool and refreshing. That's nice. Oh, there's a, there's a bass there. Brook bass. Oh, okay. I'm just catching so many with my own hands. Look at that. Let's see what else we can catch. Very nice. Oh, there's some dragonflies. Let's grab them. That'll be useful. Another bass. My word, there's so many down here. I'm not even seeing them when I'm catching them. It's just, this, <laughs> this has always been the more efficient way of fishing in Skyrim than, than the rod method. Like, let's just be honest here. Just diving in. <laughs> just diving in and swimming around. Look at this. Oh, they, they swim in shallow water, these bass. These bass fish. Okay. Well, we've got a lot of fish here that we can actually sell straight up to the, the fishermen over there on the bridge. So, as I catch a few more, I'll, uh, I'll sell them. What have we got here? Ho hopefully no slaughter fish. Luckily, I don't think they exist in such shallow waters, which is nice. Oh, my word. Look at all these guys. I'm drenched, but the water is cool and refreshing, which is nice. <laughs> Boom. Oh, my word. I'm actually pillaging these waters. I'm leaving nothing left the habitat. I'm destroying the habitat. I'm actually pillaging. Nothing remains. I can't even catch this boy. Perhaps Skyrim knows I, I must leave the habitat intact. But let's see how much we get for these fish, shall we? Very nice. And then I'll do some... I'll do some more fishing with a rod, uh, but that's more for the the cozy, the chill vibes of fishing with a rod. Travelers and hunters. Need something? Okay. Let's for Endel there. Right, friend. Uh, I have some fish for you, good sir. Hello there. Need something? Uh. Oh, can I not? Um. Oh, normally you can just sell straight up to him. Maybe he doesn't want salmon. Maybe he wants a rarer fish. It's okay. I can sell the uh, the. I can sell the other fish straight up All right, then. Uh, to like the inn, probably. The inn will not turn down fresh salmon, I'm sure. There's a drill craft of tools here. Um, we can make emeralds and, th and things. It's your house, drill crafter. You have a fine house indeed. It must be said. Right, I think then I'm going to do a spot of fishing and I might actually think about wrapping up the, uh, the ep there. I believe the fishing spot was around here somewhere, was it not? Oh no, maybe it's down this way. A bit further. No, it's not. Uh, I think Leaf's Rest has replaced the fishing, the fishing spot. You know, so I believe it was it was here. Can I, can I do it here? Ah, oh, it would seem. It would seem the fishing spot has been taken over. By uh. By Leaf's Rest. By Guy Guy's his godforsaken home. Well, actually, it's, it's very much not godforsaken. Um, that's a bit of a shame. But there is still that fishing spot where we got the rods, so we can always go back there, I guess. Um, which I might do, actually. Let's go back there. That would be a good place to end the app as well. A nice, cozy... cozy so I do, I do want to do some, some rod fishing here. It's a quick reminder, my friends, uh, before closing out this episode uh, in a few minutes. Uh, this is the first episode in, in, in what is possibly a new series, so... Please do let me know in the comments below if you want to see more of Henneth living his normal life. Uh, in the next, I, I, honestly, I'm not sure what I'm going to get up to in the next episode. Probably just more labour, more work. I might even head to, to Whiterun, possibly. See if there's any jobs there. I'm essentially going to do any job I can under the sun, really. Um, travel around and, and work, you know. And then uh, I want to buy the farm. Uh, the Creation Club farm, as, I, as I've not um, actually done that yet. I've not experienced that farm, so I'm going to grab that. I think it was Golden Hills Plantation, was it, I think? Uh, I'll do that. I'm not sure if I need coin to buy it, but I'm going to save up coin anyway. And yeah, that'll be the kind of goal for this cat. A very simple goal. Probably won't be drawn out too long. Uh, but yeah, just just a nice little character. It's nice It's nice to kind of dip into these, these cozy characters from time to time. Yes. And luckily, yeah, luckily the fishing spot is not too far from Riverwood. As I would be very much uh, <laughs> distraught if I could not fish. I just want to fish, bros. Right, where's my rod? Thy rod and thy staff comfort me. There we go. 
fishing supplies. There we are. I've we all know and fishing in these parts for years. Oh, very good. I shall join you in that. Come on, fish, bite, bite the bait. It's not like my poaching is hurting anyone. The Jarl can hardly eat every deer now, can he? Indeed, indeed he cannot. We've, we've had this discussion, hunt, uh, fisherman. What have I got there? I've got There's enough for a brook bass. Another, greedy. another brook bass. I'm not. Hey, listen. listen. Just because I'm a successful fisherman, and I'm, my pockets are kind of currently laden with fish, with raw fish. <laughs> <laughs> Do not be jealous. Please, it's, it's, it's uncoming. It's unbecoming. Right, let's catch two more suckers. And then, uh... Yeah, look at this perfect day, by the gods. I would like to catch a rarer fish, if possible. Oh, a pogfish. Pog? Poge? Right, let's, uh... Do another one. Give me, give me a rare boy. A rare boy would be nice. Oh, a haze envelops the surrounding pines. Okay, a fog is, is coming in. Please don't start raining, I beg of you. I have no tent yet. Oh, you river Betty. Okay, so nothing... nothing. Uh, let's do one more. Nothing rare so far. Oh, yeah, the haze is definitely setting in. Now look at that. By the gods. Oh, here we go. And we've got oh we've got an ancient Norden mace. Okay, what a way to fishing in these parts for years. What a way to end it. I'll sell that to the blacksmith. I have no need for an ancient Nord mace. But uh, actually, as it as the fog sets in and the, and the crisp chill sets in, ending by a nice campfire will be a good place. So my friends, I hope you've enjoyed the first episode of living a normal life in Skyrim. As well, I think that's what I'm going to call it. I don't know yet. <laughs> Skyrim, living a normal life, episode one. But yes, uh, thank you for watching, and if you got all the way to the end here, uh, on what is probably going to be a, quite a long video, then uh, yeah, thank you. Hunting and fishing in these oh. parts for years. And if you have reached this point, then I'm guessing you probably do want to see more, so... <laughs> but still, feel free to let me know if you do want to see more of Henneth and his humble ways like my... in the huh? comments below. And if you haven't yet, feel free to subscribe, my friends. Your viewership is always appreciated. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.